Well, tonight, after ordering visitors and vacationers to evacuate from Alabama's coastal communities ahead of Hurricane Delta, Alabama Governor Kay, Kay Ivey has done an about face one day later and is again allowing visitors back in. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey continues our team coverage. She asked coastal mayors if the governor jumped the gun. Andrea. Well, Kim and Greg, the answer is a resounding no. Tourists hit the road yesterday and mayors say that was the right decision. Packed up and ready to go. Visitors were forced to load up their luggage early yesterday, taking their tourism dollars with them back home. Governor Ivey on Tuesday ordered visitors to leave starting at 7 yesterday morning. The right call, says Orange Beach Mayor Tony Kennett. Had we not just suffered Hurricane Sally, the odds are the evacuation order would have never been uh, placed because we'd have waited 24 to 36 hours later before making a decision. However, we didn't have that luxury. We had debris everywhere. Kennan says with Hurricane Delta churning in the Gulf, priority number one became removing debris that could become projectiles. Normally, you know, we're not cleaning up from a storm when another one's coming. Dolphin Island Mayor Jeff Collier also agreed with the evacuation call. And even though it's now been lifted, he says the west end of the island still may not be the place to go right now. We still are encouraging our local real estate companies to not us send individuals to the west end of the island right now because as I said we've already experienced some flooding. Cannon and Collier both say they understand business owners concerns about lost revenue but say decisions were made with safety in mind. The order was given based on a set of facts on Tuesday based on a set of circumstances by Hurricane Sally to look at today and try to second guess that based on the facts today really isn't fair. And, uh, yeah, and again, I tell folks, if you don't like it, run for office and you make the decisions next time. Cannon and Collier both say that between uh, Baldwin County Public Schools fall break this weekend and those extra red snapper days uh, that are also opening up this weekend, hopefully they will bounce back quickly. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.